could your adrenal glands be keeping you up at night? Do you wake up at two o'clock in the morning having a really hard time getting back to sleep? You may think it's menopause, but it's it's probably your adrenal glands. For me, when I start waking up around two o'clock in the morning and I find it very difficult to go back to sleep, I'm wide awake and my mind is racing. Well, I know it's time to start doing something for my adrenal glands. And honestly, I have to do it a couple of months out of the year, every year. And it's been that way for about the last 10 or 15 years. The adrenal system is there to help you when you are in flight or fight mode. When we are scared, excited, maybe we're just frozen and we don't know what to do. But when we have this shock to our system, something that makes us want to hit the accelerator, that is when our adrenal glands are the star of the team. And they really pump that adrenaline into the system so that we can take care of whatever it is that we need. A lot of us as mothers or women, we live in that state way more than we need to. If you're constantly revving your car engine when it's not necessary, it's going to exhaust the car engine a lot faster than normal. You don't want to be revving up your system, your adrenal glands all the time. Now, people like me that are procrastinating perfectionists, that is the title that I have been given and I've lived it for many years. I'm trying to overcome it. But what happens is we put things off to the last minute. And even that rush of putting things off to the last minute can actually damage your adrenal function. So I want to point out a few symptoms that a lot of women tend to think are menopause related, but they're really the adrenal glands. So number one, waking up at two in the morning and being wide awake, not being able to go back to sleep because our brains are racing. Number two, body aches. Sometimes people think they have fibromyalgia or some other type of muscle related problems when it could be that your adrenal glands are exhausted and you've lived in that fight or flight mode way too much in your life. The other thing is fatigue because let's face it, if you're constantly in that state of (gasps) excitement or fear, whatever that may be, that just takes your breath away then there's a good chance that you're wearing your body out and you're not replenishing it and giving it enough downtime. So you have that combination of not getting enough sleep, add in the fatigue that can come with that. And you're setting yourself up for some more issues like the body aches. Brain fog is another thing that a lot of women think might possibly be menopause. And there are plenty of reasons we have brain fog. But if they fit in with these other symptoms, it could be your adrenal glands yelling at you for help. Hair loss, whether it's on the body or on your head, that can also be a symptom. If you think about the things that cause stress or anxiety in your body, it actually takes away from your body doing what it needs to do on a regular basis. Lightheadedness, heart palpitations, things like that, those can all be related to the body being in this state of fight or flight way more than it needs to. You could also have weight loss or weight gain. Either of those two things can be something that is showing that your adrenal glands may be exhausted or not functioning the way they should be. And then, of course, irritability is a big one. So if you're irritated at every little thing, this is something that you might want to look into. Okay, so we've established possible symptoms, maybe not all, but a few, some big ones. And now we want to know what to do. The first thing to do is try to be more mindful of how you're doing things. If you are putting things off to the last minute all the time, Try to allow more time so that you're not putting yourself under that pressure. Nobody needs to be adding additional pressure to themselves with all the existing things that we already have going on in our lives. So give yourself ample time to finish projects. Not only will that help, but it also, it gives you a great self accomplishment. It's something that maybe you will recognize that you enjoy doing things a little faster instead of waiting to the last minute. Again, I am self-professed and self-diagnosed as being 
a procrastinating perfectionist. So I tend to put things off to the last minute because I'm always thinking I don't have time to do it 100% properly. So I end up putting it off to the last minute. And that causes a lot of stress and anxiety on me. So if you're in that circle with me, we need to take and learn how to do some time blocking, learn how to focus and get things done and not put things off to the last minute. Now, what can we do to feed our bodies? What can we do to give our body the nutrients and help support the adrenal glands if they are in that state of exhaustion? Well, number one, water. I'm always going to say water because water is required. You would not wash your dishes or your hair with something other than water. You need to have water to flush the body. You need to have water in order to keep things from drying out, to keep things hydrated. So along with that water, you're going to need some fish oil, or if you're good at eating your good fatty foods like avocados, fish oil, sardines, those types of things, then you can eat those good fats and oils. I personally am not a huge fan of fish. I always add in some fish oil or omega-3s to my diet to help. It's great for brain function in general. It's great for your skin. It's great for your everything, basically. And then your veggies, eating those cruciferous vegetables, eating those green leafies, broccoli, things like that. Those are going to have some great benefits. And of course, protein is great for everything, especially the older we get. Protein is essential. And the older we get, we need more protein in order to keep our muscles just where they are, not even making them bigger. We just need to preserve them. So let's really focus on consuming more protein protein. Now I personally take an adrenal support formula that has supportive herbs like licorice and eleuthero, which is a form of ginseng. It has some supportive herbs in it, but it also has glandulars generally from bovine. Now, why would I take something with an animal gland in it? Well, the theory behind a glandular is that your body can mimic the DNA structure. Now, I am not a scientist. I don't play one on TV, but it does make a lot of sense to me. So if your body needs something, but it's missing parts and you give it pieces that it needs to rebuild something in a hole that the body can mimic and recreate, and then it can pull from that nutrition or that product and rebuild what you have, then it makes sense to me. And I just know that over the years, I've taken it for probably about 15 years off and on, usually about two months out of the year, three months. Sometime I can tell a huge difference. I don't wake up at two o'clock. I'm able to sleep through the night. Insomnia is something we don't want to mess with because it has such a a snowball effect on the harm that it can cause in our body. The adrenal glandular that I take, and I'll post it down below so you can see what it is. It's very inexpensive and it's so easy to take. I hope that you are able to start taking care of yourself at this time. Menopause doesn't have to be miserable. We have so many supplements and options and knowledge at our fingertips. There's so much that we can do to keep us healthy and to prolong the aging process. So make sure you're checking it out. And if you subscribe, you will be able to get notifications when a new video comes out. And I would always love it if you would like and share with a friend, if you know somebody who is struggling with these issues, we all need to support and help each other. Thanks so much.